Hello, welcome back to the Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Lords of Shulabah. This is... I don't know what episode. But we're up there, I think, like 131 or something. We're, we're pretty far up there. It's been a while since I've had a Let's Play that's gone quite this long. We are nearing... I don't want to say nearing the end. We're probably getting pretty close to the end, but I don't think we're quite there yet. I did some looking around on my own between this episode and the last, and I believe it's in Navros is where our thing is. It's going to be off to the right on the little water island over there, like the southeast corner of Navros. So, that being said, we're going to head over there. We're going to get the blessing that Na Naleit gives us, and it's going to be good. Or it's going to be awful. I don't know. And then from there, I think we are going to go and attempt to face off against the Water Titan to the north. And Geldra, wherever it is. And, whew, I have no idea how that's going to happen. It's probably not going to happen. Well, I, I know that's how it's going to happen. I'm going to go there and I'm going to fight him. But I have no idea how it's going to go, I guess is the better way of saying things. So, you know, that whole thing. I believe it's over here. This is the Varnalo River. Now, unless I'm wrong, ooh, what? unless I'm wrong, this is, n yeah, Naleit. What's up? I did that. I don't know why I did that. I wanted to offer an item. I misclicked. It's fine. Or I'm just crazy. Okay, I don't know where the golden wyvern egg goes either. I haven't figured that one out yet. The light of Alnaet. Uh, what are we going to give it? Uh, the little, no, hmm. The Blessed Water. That's the one. Yeah, 5,000 experience. What? Now we permanently have that blessing. So our blessings are getting quite large. Five agility, so a little bit better for us to hit. Tally it. We got the speed. Curse get. Uh, I don't really know what we have left. Um, we don't have Raznit yet. And... I don't remember who else is there. Tell you, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we don't have the blessing of Galat yet either. Huh. Where was the shrine to Galat? Was that maybe in... Man, let me go take a peek. Oh, our food is full. I'm sorry. Uh, special items. These are them. The Builder's Scepter... Wasn't Galat in the... Starting area in Veligarn? And the Wyvern... It's probably... I, I, I have no idea. Raz... I don't know. But we've done a lot, folks. That's all I, that's all I can say. We've done a, a pretty large amount of stuff so far. Over several years of us doing this, by the way. I'm feeling fairly confident that we will be able to finish this before. Again, I say fairly confident because I really don't know. But before we end up having to start covering, not, I make it sound worse than it is. Before I'm able to and can start covering the Lords of Shulama 2, which they have said that they are making, and I really really want to play that i can't imagine what like additions and just like different things are going to throw at us i'm pretty excited by it to be honest because like i said i really enjoyed playing this a lot so yeah i think this is a temple that i'm heading to right now the statue of yule that we destroyed and this is what the temple of Fabret. so we already did that and it's quite possible that the shrine to Fabret was over here I want to say, thank you, I want to say that it was in, what is the area called? In Had Hadros, maybe? Or maybe Karaga? Somewhere over on the western side, I thought was where the, the Shrine of Galat was. Could be wrong, that leads up to the rat's nest, if I recall correctly if memory serves oh i remember the mushrooms gaz gals remember our slow creeping and winding through the mushroom path 
trying to avoid getting killed by them and uh, then eventually getting to the point where we were strong enough to return and slaughter them. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, this is for Brett. Pretty sure we already have the blessing of... Yeah, we can't even interact with it anymore. Ah, yes, ladies and gentlemen. A days passed. I remember many an hour out here battling the horrible awfulness that was the Mushrooms of Doom, as I like to call them. The Doom Shroom, if you will. But you know what? We got through it. It was this was the this was the area that was just totally full that you had to like walk super slow and try to avoid everything. There were tons of herbs throughout, which reminds me, we haven't done an herb check lately. What's this? Strength point. Enjoy that herbation there, Chimera. Enjoy it. Yeah, still not positive where Galat's thing is. I'm pretty sure we can turn that in if we did know where it was. I said, I didn't look up the last one I went exploring. I'm like, I thought it was somewhere across the water. And it was, just not the original place that I thought. I thought it was in um, uh, Devonia, where we originally were. But, turns out it wasn't. Uh, I'm going to go to Had Hadderos and see if maybe that's the place. So this is going to be a little bit of a wandering episode. Hopefully you guys are okay with that. Again, the goal, if I can find the temple, or, or sorry, the altar, any of the altars, uh, for the golden wyvern egg, or for whatever I got from Galat, um, we're going to try to end up back at the frozen tundra to the north, where we will do battle with, I guess, the ice titan, which I'm a little apprehensive about. I mean, the last titan was quite the challenge, and this is supposedly harder. So, it's said to attack them from weakest to strongest, and it gave us the order. I only vaguely remember the order. There's a farm there. What's up here? Oh, the altar. Oh, it, it is marked. Okay. Ha! I was right. So, my memory from a million years ago. Uh, okay. Let's offer you the Builder's Scepter. 6,000 experience, Shiny Bob leveled up, and now we have Galat's Blessing. Experience increase, ah, oh, that's really nice. Wish I would have done that before I went and did all the other stuff. Well, hindsight being what it is, I probably made a pretty massive mistake not doing that. Especially considering what you get from Galat's Blessing. Uh, the Wyvern, my guess would be Kersket. Except we already have Kersket's Blessing, don't we? Yeah, I have no idea whose it is then. I think Raznut's the only one that we don't have. Let's take a look at the world map. Maybe we don't have Taliet either. Okay, I don't think we have Taliet. Maybe we do. I don't think we have Taliet. I'm, I know we don't have Raznet yet. But there's three, so there's got to be another one. We have Kersket. Um, sorry, guys. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know what's still what we're still missing, but that's okay. Who's this? That's Raznet, okay. Oh, Valvet. That's the other one that we don't have. We don't have Valvet. Alright. Let's start. I mean, you know what? The, the Wyvern might be Valvet. I don't know where the shrine to Valvet is, though. So that's, that's another little downer on me. But you know what? Shiny Bob leveled up. I think this means we can also possibly take on the Witch. We'll try the Ice Guy first. But we may be able to actually take on the Witch as well. Alright, we're going to go with Elemental Protection, we're going to go with... Oh my gosh, I have so many points with him. I guess we'll get our Life Absorption, because we do have a book for that. One and one. Move Poison even seems like a straight, legit thing to do. How much is Remove Poison? It's five. We have five left. Yeah, maybe I do that. So if we get a lot of poison stacked up on us, 
might work out. Okay. Maybe not the best way to level up, but after all those skill points that we got added to us, I mean, it was pretty good. We do need to stop by a town at some point, though. That is definitely a thing that needs to get done. Um, where does this take us? To Kunavarn? Yeah, that's fine. That's kind of the direction we need to head anyway, so... That works. We need to stop at Kunavarn. We need to get ourselves the lockpicks and a few other things. But overall, eh, you know, headway's being made. Dark headway at this point, but, you know, it's, it's fine. Where does this take us? Karaga. I don't know that we need to go there. You know what? Why don't we take a look here? Dimensional portal. Uh, these are just the different things. Power resilience. What we could do is we can head to the northwest. That's Castle Caraga. Let's head over here. Because this is also two different spots that enter Caraga. We can take a look, and if it's on the map, maybe we can go and turn in our uh, wyvern egg if it's something there. That doesn't look like it. Uh, no. Doesn't look like it's something we can do. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's this? It's a dimensional portal. Okay. Yep. I don't think... Well, there, there is something there. I see it. But it if since it's not active, I assume we've already turned that one in. So. Okay. It's fine. We'll just keep our eye open. We'll look at every map that we go to and see if there's something in that map that's highlighted as a is a shrine or an altar and we'll move on from there anyway we're gonna head up to the town as previously stated and in the town we're gonna make a name for ourselves that name is hey we need lockpicks so we're gonna be known as the thieves I guess cuz like who else needs a lockpick right we're not locksmiths they know this there's a whole bunch of us so we'll just be known as thieves apparently how can I help how you? could you help me very easily I would also like to look at your scrolls. Scroll of Meteor, Thunderstorm, End of Flames, blah 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 blah, Cleanse Disease. Seems legit. Remove Poison. I'm just gonna get one of those. Cure Wounds, eh. Aura Protection 8. That seems kind of meh. Mass Divine Armor. You can get some of these things. It's it's okay. Uh, do we have anything that's worth keeping here? Not really. All right, and then a oh, lockpick. That's what we wanted. Horses are a little low. We we'll get all these as well. There we See go. you soon. Greetings. Do we actually have anything to sell? I'm sorry, I didn't take a look at this. Electric protection. See you nah, soon. not really. Alright. Feeling pretty good about all this, to be honest. You know what? There is an easy way for us to see what's left. I think there's only three? Well, there has to be three, right? The servant of the gods greets you. Uh, spiritualist, I'd like to receive blessing. Oh, there's only two. Val Valvet and Raznet. And I think we have the the egg is probably uh, Astro of all beasts, or maybe Raznet's the one. I don't know. I know the maybe egg is definitely blessing. one of those things. Huh, it's interesting. I thought when we cleared the temple we got the, the gifts, but apparently we don't even need to do that at this point. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. All right, onward and upward we go. Oh, where's the, where's the frost titan, the ice titan, whatever it is going to be, and how strong is it going to be, and are we even going to be able to take it on? I'm hoping. Like I said, I feel like we're right at the edge of death at all times in this horrible, horrible place. I can only assume... 
We found it in the northwest. I can only assume... This is not going to be a lot of fun for us. Thankfully. Titan can be found in the north. We're not that hard yet. We'll probably end up resting, maybe? I'm gonna do a quick save here. There he is. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do one aura of healing and then we'll rest. Alright, doing a quick save again. The Titan is right here. Weary from your long journey across uncountable leagues of ice over the frozen lake, you finally see your destination, the Ice Titan. Ziliante, son of Taliot. From the distance, he looks like a spire of ice rising into the sky, his skin the surface of a glacier. As you get closer, the colossal creature bends down to look at you. It starts to speak in a deep, grating voice so strong that you hear the echo of the Geldra ice cracking around you. What is a mortal doing in the dominion of a titan? Chillin. His breath covers you with frost and you feel your bones chill inside of you. You speak only with great difficulty. I am Kalen, Herald of Galat. The Lord demands the key that you guard, Zilionite, Zilionte, whatever his name is, child of Taliot. No Lord of Shulama, save my lady, Taliot has authority over me. And not even she could compel a titan to break his promise. You detect a tremor in his voice and you know that what he has just said holds a great meaning for him. Truly, the titans are a strange race. What promise? With Yule's Herald, or perhaps the Guardian of Souls himself? The Lord of Souls made us who we are. To give you the key would mean returning to what we were. But the destiny of the world depends on that key. The destiny of your world, mortal, not mine. Walk back across the ice the way you came and seek your own destiny. Though it had appeared that the Titan was not without feeling, his contempt for all that does not affect him is now obvious. Suddenly you feel warmth in your chest. It seems to come from the hand of Galat that hangs there. Your strength is renewed, and once more you can speak clearly with force and energy. My destiny is to complete my mission and save Rodinia. Or Rodinia, I don't know. If you will not give me the key, then I will take it from you. I am the winter of the mortal world. I am the unbreakable ice. I am the cold that freezes your blood. With no show of emotion on his frigid visage, the titan readies to smash you into the ice. Mortal combat! Alright, here we go. Or maybe immortal combat? Oh god, he's got 7,000 hit points, and he's going to do horrible, horrible, awful, bad, 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 bad things to us. So, before that happens, uh, let's get some mass divine armor. Oh god, what you get? Oh, he froze our guy that we needed to make sure absolutely 100% could not be frozen. Oh, this is bad. This is going very, 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 very poorly. Please, thank you. Maybe the absolute best situation in this area here. Oh gosh. I'm not even sure what to do at this point. Um. Mm. Okay. All right, and you know what you're doing? You are consuming some healing because you done got wrecked. I'm I'm still okay with this for right now. Let's get that up there. Oh no! Really, he did a hundred and. Uh... Well, I don't think we win without him, but let's give it a shot. 
Yeah, well, that's nice. I think this guy is as uh, hateful of wounds as the others. Or do you think we'll actually be able to stack up a fair amount of wounds and be okay? I'm hoping the wound stacking works. Like I said, if Shiny Bob has to sit this one out, but we can somehow pull it uh, pull it back from the brink of destruction. I am okay with that, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case at all. Boy, howdy, that... Oh, he dispels too? Ooh, that's not good. I'm going to guess that we've done less than 2,000 damage to him. And that we are actually not even sort of close to strong enough to deal with this. Yeah, it's looking pretty bad. Maybe we can front or not front load. Well, I guess yeah, you can front load our back line with cold resist. Maybe it's enough. Doubtful. We're gonna let this. Uh... No joke. Look at the Dude is no joke. Alright, we're gonna not change the position. We, we, we can't even flee from this battle? Oh. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, everything is over but the crying. Do we at least uh, do a, a small chunk of damage to him? I don't, I don't know how much health he had left, but that guy was no joke. Uh, huh. Alright, well, we'll try it again. Uh, maybe we'll use our... What is Just give me a second here. Maybe we'll use our elemental protection to start the battle. Oh, good. We're, we're, this is gonna happen. Alright, guys and gals. This is one of the things that annoys me the most about this game. Um... I say that. It's good and it's bad. The, the part that I'm talking is we acted first last time. We're doing the same fight from a quick save and somehow this time we're not the first to act. I don't like that. That makes me sad. Also hurts really bad. Oh no. And that's, that's it. We've already lost again. See? It, it is... Just like, I, I, you know, there's percentages to hit and everything else. This is a very RNG heavy game. So, yeah, you're going to run into RNG based battles where if you don't get the perfect start, you miss a certain attack, this, that, whatever the case is, you're going to suffer quite profusely for it. And in this case, it looks like, yeah, see, like this time we absolutely got annihilated. Last time we at least did some level of damage to him, right? Like I said, it is pretty RNG heavy. But that's okay. What I might end up doing is maybe fighting him a bit on my own, on and off. Until we seem to have, like, a, a good attempt at it. And then maybe I'll just pop in and start the episode there. Because it looks like I'm going to have to play around with him a little bit. And if I can't do it, then I'll just start the episode, run back, maybe we get some frost resistance or whatever. And maybe that'll be enough to carry us through. But I think I'm going to break off the episode right here. We'll just go back in. We'll continue from this spot. Like I said, either we'll be at the point where we should be able to win in the next battle. Or the next episode. Or I will be starting from this spot and backtracking. Uh, maybe go try the witch at this point. Um, and see about maybe getting some like frost, lightning, whatever resistant stuff. That might help us carry the day against the Titan. I knew the Titan was going to be more challenging. I expected it to be maybe we lose one, but it's close. But the fact that they can cure wounds and there's lots of AoE. He moves pretty quick. We're still not fast enough to outpace him. It makes it a pretty difficult fight. Or possibly an impossible fight at this point. Anyway, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you next time with more Lords of Shulama. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show. And I will see you later.